Billy, get in the canoe. What's happening? You've lost your fucking mind. People are dead. People are dead? People die all the time, Billy. For no reason. Hey Truman, I found that uh, car on the south side. I'm gonna go check it out. What's your status? Hey Truman, you there? Hey Truman, you there? Wake up. Truman. Good evening all you hot and horny campers. This is your good buddy Ranger Dale Truman up at the Forest Green Park. You don't have to tell me what day it is. It's Friday, Friday, Friday! The 13th. Our good buddy officer, Chip, is working for the weekend! But Dale, poor, poor Dale, he's working on the weekend. Hilarious. Anyway, find that car on the south side, I'm gonna go check it out. What's your status over there? What's the car look like? What color is it? Is it a red car? Is it a white car? Is it a black car? Are there people inside the car? Are they having sex? Chip, be honest. Tell me. Tell me if there's a nude woman in the car. Help me! Help me, Officer Shut Chip! Up. I've lost Shut my up. clothes! Shut up! Chip, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for her? Just shut up. I can answer you. Over. I'm listening. I'm listening. Tell me. Tell me. What's the emergency? Has someone lost their firewood? Like I said, I'm gonna go check out this car. It's probably gonna be nothing. Anything happening on your side, over. Chip, go home to your beautiful, voluptuous, sexy wife. I will be here alone, holding down the fort. Uh-huh, sounds like it. Well, if you need anything else tonight, don't call me. I am D-O-N-E done. Believe me, buddy, I won't call you because you won't be getting any help if I do call you. I got all I need right here in my glass in front of me. Over. Uh-huh. Copy that. Over now. Asshole. And I am over and out myself. you
Dell Stewart Truman. And I fuck you very much. Oh, <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't want you don't want to mess with me tonight. I'm oh not. Oh my god, I'd like life and death emergency. We or need whatever. to use your phone. Could you not hear us? Is that my shirt? Yeah, your truck was locked. You really should uh, lock okay. that. Honestly. Yeah, I'm fine. Where's your phone? Dude, Where's what your... what happened to your face? It's not my blood. Where's your phone? Uh, my phone is uh, I got a the phone is phone. The there's a there's a phone in the kitchen. I. It, Thank I you, mean, Jesus. Okay. Is it hers? The, Are your the door blood locked? Is... Are the windows locked? Um, I don't know. I have to do everything around here. Oh my god. Are... I usually leave them open because it's your like that's not working. When I, when do you I, have anything else? When I let people just in and out, I'm like, what? Do you have another phone? Your phone's not working. Phone. I have a bunkhouse. I have a bunk bunkhouse. Perfect. In the bunkhouse, I have a, a radio. I call no. my. Okay, I perfect. Call on a radio, but not like a phone. Hey! Phone, phone. Kind of is that shotgun loaded? Thing. Uh, the shotgun. I we use the shotgun to shoot like birds and you know, stuff like that. Okay, thank you. Uh, How he about has bullets? You know? First aid kit. And, um, but do you have a first aid kit? We need a first aid kit. Uh, down the hall in the bathroom. Okay, thank you. Okay, you take Susie, go to the bunkhouse, call the cops. I'll take care of Allie, okay? Hey, which one's Susie? Hey, is she okay? I, I'm fine. Hey, 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 is anybody gonna tell me what the hell is going on? I Like, listen, Mr. Reed, dude, we just totally got attacked by a psycho dressed like a, a hockey player. A psycho. Yeah, well, it was this guy who was kind of sane, but obviously not anymore. Anyways, dressed like that scary butcher hockey dude, but then that other scary butcher hockey dude came in and he showed up out of nowhere and it was totally crazy. He was like eight feet tall, totally unreal, and apparently he tore his head apart. Which I guess he kind of deserved because, like, he was trying to murder us or everybody or whatever, I guess. But now I'm going to call the cops or, like, the military, the army or something because I'm totally military. freaking out. What is this? This is my Oh, green freeze. Do you have any more of that? In the this kitchen. Way? Uh, oh, holy fucking shit. It went with a heart. Who, who's Ted?
Evening, folks. Sheriff's Department. Everything okay in there? What the shit? I had much of a choice. You had a lot on your mind. I know, it's just that we're all here by ourselves and... Yeah, but you're safe out here, you know. I got this place for miles. I got the whole place to myself. Aren't there bears and stuff? Like, yeah, there's bears, bears, but what are bears gonna do? Well, I just got this new strawberry shampoo, so I was kind of worried about like... Shampoo? Well, what if they like strawberries and they come and smell oh, four miles man. away? I think your chattering motor box mouth gonna keep them away better than anything else will. You got a lot on your mind. Hey, radio in here, bears out there. Do you think you know the difference between artificial like strawberries and then like real strawberries? The bears? Yeah, the bears, because I think they can smell the difference. I don't think so. I don't think they know what artificial is. Did he uh, take Susie to go call for help? Yeah, he did. Let's see. A little bit of vodka. Oh, Ooh. shit. I'm sorry, are you okay? Yeah, it's not like it's really, really painful or anything. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I need painkillers. <laughs> Lots of painkillers. Right. This is gonna help keep that nasty ass blood off of everything around us. You know, you're gonna be a great nurse. You know, I'm gonna be a fucking doctor. <sighs> right. Sarah, she was... Don't say it. But she was... Look, she... I can't process that right now. We have to figure this out. No, we don't. We have to get out of this nightmare. Yeah, and... But, Ted, you said Megan was wrong. Wrong about what? I, I don't know. Uh, that's bullshit. Wrong about what? You know, why did Ted freak out like that? And who the fuck was that that killed him? I mean, that cannot be- Look, I don't out. know! <laughs> Allie, wait. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Billy? Let me go. this shit again.
the button is supposed to come in on there. You sure you know how to work that thing? Yeah. No big deal. It's like biking a ride, baby. This doesn't look like you know what you're doing. Riding a bike. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got... <laughs> told you to come on. Great. Uh, hey, Chip, buddy, you out there, man? I know that I said I wouldn't call you. <laughs> But uh, we got kind of a situation, I think. There's something going on. If you can call me back, dude, that'd be good. Over. Okay, so like now what? Well, I did the thing and called Chip, and now we wait. Call me back. But like, don't we need to like get a hold of somebody? Cause like there's an eight foot maniac murdering people. So like, can we call other cops or a different station or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd what be... else can we do? I'll try another one, another station. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Cause like you're the park ranger, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, Te I mean, technically. Yeah, I'm the park ranger. Yeah. Okay, well, that's comforting. Oh. Susie, <laughs> you're a sweet girl. You're saucy, but you're pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> Even, but pretty I good. mean, thanks, Dal, but it's like, we've been running through the woods and my hair's a mess and like, I had to put on your big old sweater and it's like, I don't know, I'm not at my best game, you know what I mean? Uh, you're doing just fine, sweetheart. Uh, but oh. look, why don't you go freshen up our drinks and I'll keep calling. Sounds like a plan. You're gonna be just fine. But you better not be out of rum, you know what I mean? Well, sugar, I don't know if it's rum, but use whatever's in that kitchen. All right, Dale. It's just, all yours. Why don't you keep trying or whatever? All right. Other channel. Keep calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other channel. Where's the manual? Love you, slugger, Billy. I thought for for his birthday, just last month. Yeah, it was just an inside thing between us. No. It's a funny thing. Yeah. We thought everybody did. You know, when we were here as kids, Megan, Sarah, and I, we were like sisters. People couldn't tell us apart. Counselors used to say Megan was our third twin once removed. But then her parents died and they were killed. Things were different. Yeah, I, I remember that. It was like, we went to school. You know, everyone thought that they knew her like I did. I mean, people in high school were obsessed with her, but no one really knew her. Not like me. But what does this have to do with Ted? This isn't about Ted. Fucking psycho. You know, I overheard them the other night talking about Megan's going away party. Megan and Ted and the whole get drunk crew. They were talking about him. About Jason. The real Jason. Yeah. Everybody talks about him. His ancient history. No, you don't understand. She was obsessed. They were all obsessed. And people used to be afraid. I mean, we're all still afraid. God, I should have said something. You know, we were supposed to just come up here for fun. It was going to be just for laughs. I remember thinking, I can't wait to see her face. got up here, it was like, it was different. It felt different, wrong. You 
what? None of this makes sense. Do you own this whole place? No, they just let us live here. Oh. Yeah. But like, it must get lonely here on the island all by yourself. Island? Right? You're saying about an island? No, they, they said we had to cross the lake to get to the island so that he wouldn't follow us. What are you talking about? I drove around the lake three times earlier. <laughs> Though I room for an island. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, over? Hello? Give me Over. that. Give me that. Uh, uh, what are you doing? No, it's just. Well, he doesn't have to swim to get here. Hello, what? radio person. Um, can you just like send the army and the cops or whatever? We we need you to get here really fast. <laughs> Hello. You gotta push the little button if you want to talk to somebody. Oh my God, I can't even with you. Hey, I just got this thing to work. He's here. He didn't cut the power. He cut the, the power. The lights are on. We've got to freaking get out of here. we got to get out right now. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. we got to go. Hey, there's not some guy running around the park slicing everybody up, right? Well, there might have been. I mean, I, I think... He's not slicing up your boyfriend, right? Well, he wasn't technically my boyfriend. He sure as shit not coming here to kill us tonight. Okay. okay? You're right. You're right. I was just Susie, freaking out. I'm Susie. I'm really scared. Everything's going to be okay, okay? Okay. Look, my life's kind of shitty right now. I know, I know. R Ranger I, Dale. I can't die tonight. You can call me Suzanne, you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> yeah? Suzanne. <laughs> Looked really pretty in the red light. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, did you say that guy was like eight feet tall? The one that was chasing. Yeah, he was totally huge or whatever. I mean, I gotta flip the breaker, but yeah, maybe you ought to come with me, you know, like power and numbers kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. Oh my God, I totally hate you right now. <laughs> well, get in line, Suzanne. This is just what I needed tonight. Just <laughs> come on. another ugh, crazy dude in my life. We gotta go find Susie. Hey, I do not blame you, and you shouldn't blame yourself either. Hey, somebody is out there, whoever it is, I'm gonna fucking kill them. Billy, wait. Look, some people are just angry and hateful and searching for anything that gives them power. Megan's been searching for a long time. Him. We were the bait. This is, this is all three of 
us. We're all that's left. So I'm just gonna click the breaker over and the lights will be back on. Okay, great. What yep. do you need that pull stick for? Well, if somebody does come at us, I'll crack this over their head. <laughs> awesome, you sound like a real warrior. Yeah, you know, back in my day, I was in a lot of bar fights. Were you really? <sighs> Not really, but I get the concept, you know? Hold this. I mean, I guess. Thanks. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So what do you think you have to do to be in a bar fight, exactly? You know, just a lot like... of stupid shit, that's what you gotta do to get in a bar fight. I mean, really, you just gotta like chug a beer and then like smash somebody's head yeah, in or something? Yeah, that might be part of it. Aha, right here. I feel like I could get yeah. into a bar fight. I think this one is it. It's always a little... Do you um, need some help or something? Just a little hard to get sometimes, but I'll get it. <laughs> Let there be light. Holy fucking shit, look out! What? Go to the truck, okay? I'll distract them. But Susie. Susie's gone. Hey, you'll be at the truck, right? You'll meet me?
Wow. <laughs>